we're going to talk about today's incoming Soviet Venus probe. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're, now, we're if getting... you're going to have if you're going to have space junk getting ready to re-enter, isn't it comforting to know that it's already been hardened and designed to re-enter through Venus's thicker atmosphere? You're starting off with a, with a bang or at least a brilliant blaze of glory because a um uh, a failed Soviet Venus lander is coming back home. Cosmos 42 uh is coming back actually as we, it may, it, as we're recording this it is like hours away from burning up. Uh, we've been following this since, I guess, since it became apparent that it was going to re-enter around uh, around this month as we're recording it. Uh, and uh, uh, today is May uh, 9th. The European Space Agency thinks that the Cosmos 42 Venus probe is going to burn up, uh, I think, over the ocean. It looks like it might be over the Pacific off the coast of, no, the Indian Ocean off the coast of Australia, if I'm looking at this map right. Um, uh, very early in the morning on the weekend. So uh, so its days are numbered. This is a spacecraft launched in 1972 by the Soviet Union uh, to land on the surface of Venus. Uh, it didn't actually reach Venus, obviously. It suffered an anomaly, got stuck in a very long elliptical orbit, and it's been there for like 50 decades. And, orbit you know, of Earth, what goes, yeah. Yeah, what goes up uh, must come down, and that orbit has decayed around 